back to my channel. Today I wanted to do kind of a morning get ready with me routine but sort of with my showering routine and washing my hair. I only wash my hair like once a week so the whole hair routine isn't often a thing but I had to today because it was pretty uh, greasy and I thought it would be fun to show you guys kind of what I do with my hair. Basically I got out of the shower maybe like 20 minutes ago. I start with putting on my little hair turban thing which you probably saw. It kind of like initially sucks up some of the moisture and wetness in my hair but now that it's kind of like semi starting to air dry but it's still kind of wet I'm going to be putting a couple of products in my hair to help make it less like tangly and so that I can actually manage to carefully brush it. I'll start with showing you guys a couple of my favorite products. These are probably like my top four favorite hair products and I kind of have an order that I use them in but sometimes it's random because some of the products are more like oily and others are more of like a leave-in conditioner so it just kind of depends on what I feel like my hair needs at the time. This one has been my favorite. This was actually a Christmas gift from my husband's sister. She's a hairstylist so she usually gives me hair stuff which is super nice. So I've had this since like December and it's about like this full. So it's lasted me a while. It's pretty good. I only wash my hair once a week though so I don't have to use it all the time because I only use this when my hair is wet. Basically an all-in-one spray detangler thing. I was gonna read all these. I thought it only went to 10 but it goes to like 25 things so it just basically does a lot of stuff and I find it is the best thing ever for when my hair is like this and it's very like I'm not gonna actually pull my fingers through but like my fingers get stuck in my hair so I find this definitely helps. So what I do, I usually shake it just to make sure it's all good. And then I'll just kind of maybe do about three sprays um, throughout the lengths of my hair. And then I kind of go to the back and just make sure I get it all. And then maybe one kind of underneath, maybe two. It's kind of random. Um, I'm gonna try to get my bangs with like some mini spray. So I just kind of put that everywhere through my hair. I can already feel it like makes it like softer like right away. It's really nice. I'm gonna put a little more up here. Yeah, but that's about it. So I would say no more than like five to ten sprays. I try to not go too crazy, but you can like feel the spots where it's still kind of bad. The next thing that I'll usually use is this It's a 10 stuff, which is kind of ish the same thing, but it doesn't really spray. Like it's not as much of like a mist. I like to spray a couple of pumps into my hand. Something about that much. And this one I like to kind of rub my hands together and then actually distribute it through my hair. Kind of like the other one, the first one isn't enough to fully detangle it, but then this kind of like helps give it a boost into the less tangled direction. And I think that both of those have really helped with like just overall my hair strength and uh, durability and softness and all that good stuff. Sometimes that's enough, the spray and the It's a 10 leave-in conditioner, but I like to go hard sometimes, so I'm going to be using this Olaplex number 6 Olaplex stuff, which is like another leave-in conditioner. I'm almost out of it. It's like really, really low, but I really like it. I've been using Olaplex for a few years and I feel like it works really well. So again, just about that much and rubbing my hands together. And this one I like to focus more on the ends specifically. I feel like Olaplex is like really good for um, split ends. Then I'm gonna kind of get this front area a little bit. So far that's three things in our hair. Sometimes I'll even mix all of them together in my hand. It just depends on how I'm feeling on that day. Next thing that I use is this oil. This is by Unite. I also bought this like a year or two ago and it's kind of running out. I get really sad when my hair stuff's running out because it's like, oh no, I'm gonna have to spend like a hundred dollars again. Those first couple ones were very like creamy leave-in conditioner and this is an oil and I feel like this really spreads throughout my hair a lot more so I just take one pump it's really oily so it's kind of hard to tilt my hand but this because it's an oil I feel like it does like an amazing job I don't know it just makes it so soft and I feel like the combination of all of them together and kind of starting with the more like creamy conditioner substances and then going into the oil it's like I don't know 
it's just perfect. I feel like some people might be like, that's a lot of product, but it's honestly not like I'm using a ton. Like if you were to put all of them mixed together in my hand, it would like maybe be that much product. And I feel like it's really good and it helps my hair a lot. So yeah, that's pretty much what I do. At this point, my hair is a lot more manageable and it's not as crazy. Like it's a lot more like straight now um, compared to earlier. I feel like my bangs and everything were all curly and crinkly and just weird and wavy. So now at this point, I will try to brush my hair really, really gently. Um, I have one of those wet brushes. I think that they're supposed to be good. Like they're made to kind of help to be better, more gentle on uh, when you're brushing your hair when it's wet. So I usually just start at the bottom and I go super, super, super gently because your hair is so fragile when it's wet. Um, so you don't want to cause any breakage. And I just work my way up through my hair. There is a couple of parts where, I mean, you can only be so gentle, like you literally aren't able to do much without pulling a little bit. I just slowly work up my hair. I find resting my hair on like my arm tends to help a bit. I like to get my bangs. Basically, I am doing this because I want to let my hair air dry, but I want it to at least be like brushed out so that it doesn't dry with any like weird stuff going on, if that makes sense. So that's pretty much everything that I do to my hair. And now there's either two things that'll happen. One, I'll either just completely let it air dry and I won't touch it with a blow dryer at all. Or the other thing is I'll usually let it air dry for about 20 minutes or so longer and then blow dry it. So it's like almost dry, but it's still kind of damp. But at least I feel that way you don't have to blow dry it as long because it's already mostly dry. I probably will blow dry my hair today, but I think I'm gonna go take a little break and go share an apple with my husband and make some coffee and then we'll see how I feel and maybe we'll blow dry it. Also, I'm really excited to show you guys my blow dryer because it's like one of those ones where it's like a brush and there's like different parts that you can put on it. I'm excited to show it to you guys because I love it so okay, much. So I'm back. I have coffee in my crazy cat lady mug. My mom got this for me and I love it. So it's been about 20 minutes. Um, my hair is drying a little bit more, still wet enough to blow dry though. Moving into blow drying my hair and stuff, this is the blow dryer that I have. Um, I made Derek buy this for me for Christmas, I think two years ago. So I think 2021, I believe. I remember we were at Best Buy and I saw this and I really wanted it. And I was like, babe, if you haven't planned anything for Christmas for me, you should buy this. And he did end up buying it for me. I wanted it because I hate like standard blow dryers where like you have to, like you're just blowing air and you have to like hold a brush and hold the blow dryer at the same time. So this is like a brush blow dryer and it saved me so much time. I feel like it dries my hair so well and so nicely. It has like ions and stuff in it or whatever. Also it's by the brand Chi, which is obviously a really good like hair straightener, heat tool brand. Literally love it. I haven't used any other blow dryer since. I would highly recommend it, especially if you're like me and like to blow dry your hair straight. I feel like it's really good at that. And it also came with two other um, attachments. There's this one, which is just literally like a normal paddle brush. This one's pretty good too. I do really like this one a lot also and I do use it but I just find that this one like grips the hair better and just does a better job whereas this one it's like literally you're just like brushing your hair but so this one I don't know it just works better for me and then you also have the option of like standard blow dryer. I haven't even tried this yet. Literally, I don't know why. I should probably try it at some point, but just the brush thing has been working out for me. What I do, I use one of these claw clip things and I'll section my hair probably into like three or four sections, roughly. The first one, I go about, roughly about there, I would say. So it's just kind of like, you know, that bottom like nape of the neck kind of area. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing this. It's obviously going to be really loud. A cool setting, a low setting, and a high. I usually go for the high because that's just kind of like standard like hot blow dryer kind of vibe. Let's go ahead and do this. The first section done, it's already dry. I feel like it kind of straightened it out. It literally took like 
30 seconds the smallest little section and also I know <laughs> this side is like longer I don't know why my hair I guess was just breaking off on this side next section I just go a little bit higher just kind of take it up like an inch or two each time I feel like this next section is kind of like the main one that takes the longest. Like it's kind of like the bulk of my hair. Flip it up a little bit better. I always have like pieces kind of still hanging down and they get in the way. So kind of trying to make it more like clean so I can like get in there easier. almost done I could probably do this last section in one but I'm gonna do one more section just because I feel like it dries easier that way like the smaller sections that you work with the easier it is we will split this one more time Okay, so we're getting there, but I can still feel like right up here um, in the back of my head, it's still kind of wet. So I'm going to I'm just going to pull a little section out, give it a quick little brush. I'm going to go at it from like underneath and that should fix it. Finally, the last section, it got a little kinky and weird right there from how I clipped it. Hopefully the blow dryer can fix that. All right, so I would say that we're done. So here is my hair fully blow dried. I feel like it's really like straight and nice. It's pretty good. I wish you guys could feel it. Like my hair feels so soft. It's so like my fingers just run through it. I don't know if that's just the blow dryer or if it's the products or the combination of both. But it's just so good it feels like the salon and i love that blow dryer so much i forgot to use this today my heat protectant i usually spray this in my hair before i blow dry my hair but i forgot today because i was filming so i just didn't think about it but honestly i think all of the products that i put in my hair before have heat protectant these two do i think that it's a 10 also does so i technically already did have it usually i'm like extra careful and we'll put this in last two things i want to show you i don't use these all the time these are like drugstore ones they're pretty um cheap they're only like six or seven dollars each i don't use these ones all the time but sometimes i'll put them in my hair when it's dry if it's like feeling like it needs extra moisture it works pretty good this one's like a serum so it's not really like an oil but it's kind of like an oily consistency this helps with like frizz and stuff I feel like these two are kind of comparable to this I mean not really like comparable but in a pinch you could get away with using these instead of this because this is like $30 I think I think that's everything that's like my full hair routine um, other than I know you guys didn't get to actually see how I wash my hair and all that stuff but I did show you in the beginning a quick little clip of the shampoo and conditioner that I'm currently using. Also at the moment, I don't have a deep conditioner. I need to buy ones. I'm not sure which one I'll get. I've tried a couple over the years, but I don't really know if I've specifically loved any of them. So I'm kind of looking for a new deep conditioner, but in general, I feel like my hair is doing pretty good. It's definitely growing. It's getting pretty long. My belly button is right here. So I mean, it's not quite belly button length, but it's kind of getting long. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go back to drinking my coffee and probably finish getting ready. But for now, I'm going to end this video. So I hope that you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.